welcome children today we are going to start the new chapter time and money and today's topic is time so look into the board children here you can see some pictures on the board can you see some pictures and you are given what you have to do is you have to put tick in the correct column in the first column it is written as morning second column it is written as afternoon and the third column it is written as night so let's look into the picture look into the first picture children you are here you can see a boy going to school usually what time children goes to school children goes to school in the morning so you have to put tick in the morning column understand look into the next picture you can see some moons and stars usually what time you will see the moon and the stars moon and the stars appear at night during the night time so we have to put tick in the night column okay now the last column what you can see here you can see a girl having her lunch what time you will have the lunch we will have the lunch during the afternoon so we have to put tick in the afternoon understand this is how we have to do this type of questions look into the next what's written here days of the week so children how many days are there in a week there are seven days in a week they are sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday let's read the spelling also s u n d a y sunday m o n d a y monday t u e s d a y tuesday w e d n e s d a y wednesday t h u r s d a y thursday f r i d a y friday s a t u r d a y saturday so children you have to study the spellings of the days of the week understand you have to write in a notebook and study first okay then only you will be able to read and do the questions so let's read the question fill in the blanks what is written here first question there are dash days in a week how many days are there in a week there are seven days so you have to write there are seven days in a week second question the day after monday is which day comes after monday look here which day comes after monday tuesday so the answer is tuesday you have to write start with the capital letter okay tuesday okay next question third one the day that comes before saturday is where is saturday saturday is here which day comes before saturday friday so which day comes before saturday friday what is the spelling of friday f r i d a y friday understand now next question the day that comes between thursday and saturday is that is which day comes between thursday and saturday look here this is thursday and this is saturday so which day comes between thursday and saturday friday what is the spelling of friday f r i d a y friday so understand children so in this topic you study the days of the week how many days are there in a week seven days and which are they sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday study the spellings okay now next topic is months of the year so children how many months are there in a year there are 12 months in a year they are january february march april may june july august september october november and december so there are 12 months in a year and children how many days are there in a year there are 365 days in a year and some months will have 30 days and some months will have 31 days 
But in the case of February, February will have either 20 days or 29 days. So, during the leap year, February is having 29 days. So, the total number of days during the leap year is 366 days. Understand children? So, look into the board children. Let's read the spelling also. First one is January. J-A-N-U-A-R-Y. January. Second is February. F-E-B-R-U-A-R-Y. February. Third is March. M-A-R-C-H. March. Fourth is April. A-P-R-I-L. April. Fifth is May. M-A-Y. May. Sixth is June. J-U-N-E. June. Seventh is July. J-U-L-Y. July. Eighth is August. A U G U S T August. Ninth is September. S E P T E M B E R September. Tenth month is October. O C T O B E R October. Eleventh is November. N O V E M B E R November. And the twelfth and the last month is December. D E C E M B E R December. Here also you have to write and study the spellings. Understand? Write in a notebook and study. Now let's read the points. There are 365 days in a year. Okay? Now January, March, May, July, August, October, and December have. 31 days each. Third point, April, June, September and November have 30 days each. And the last point is, February has either 28 days or 29 days. In a leap year, February has 29 days. So, during leap year, the days in a year will be 366. All of you understood children? You have to write and study the spellings of the months of the year. Okay? Now we will do, do some questions. Let's read the question. Question number 1. How many months are there in a year? How many months are there in a year? There are 12 months. So here we have to write 12 Second question, which is the first month of the year? Which is the first month? First is January. What is the spelling of January? J-A-N-U-A-R-Y. January. Now third question, which month comes between June and August? So we have to count from January. January, February, March, April, May, June, July. So, which month, month comes between June and August? July. The spelling is J-U-L-Y. July. Fourth question. What is the name of the third month? Which is the name of the third month? January, February, March. So, which is the month? March. So, you have to write the spelling M-A-R-C-H, March. The last question, which month comes before December? Before December, which month is coming? We have to count. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. So, which month comes before December? November. And the spelling is N-O-V-E-M-B-E-R. Understood children? So now let's move to the next topic. Time. So what we, how will you measure time children? With which instrument you will measure time? We will use a clock to measure time. Isn't it? So a clock helps us to measure time. We will use a clock to measure time. So look here. 
here you can see the face of a clock so what is written in the face of the clock you can see numbers from 1 to 12 look here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so numbers from 1 to 12 are written on the face of a clock now look here children here you can see two hands on on the face of a clock can you see one is the short hand and the other one is the long hand the short hand is called the our hand so short hand is called the our hand and our hand will tell the time and the next is the long hand long hand is called the minute hand understood children here you can see two hands one is the short hand and the other one is the long hand short hand is called the our hand and the long hand is called the minute hand now children we can do an exercise write the time so here children look into the clock and you have to tell the time look here here you can see two hands one is the short hand and the other one is the long hand look here short hand is pointing towards 9 and long hand is pointing towards 12 so what is the time 9 o'clock Okay children, now look here, here you can see another clock, what is the time here? Short hand is pointing towards 12 and the long hand is also pointing towards 12, so the time is 12 o'clock, so this is how we write 12 o'clock. Now children, the next question what is written, draw the hands of the clock. Here there are no hands on the hands on the clock. The time is given. So what you have to do is you have to draw the hands. What is the time given here? 7 o'clock. The short hand will point towards 7 and the long hand will point towards 12. So let's do first. First we will draw the short hand. Start from the middle. Short hand is pointing towards And the long hand is pointing towards 12. And the next question is 2 o'clock. So short hand will point towards which number? 2. So short hand is pointing towards 2. And the long hand is pointing towards 12. Understand? Here children look here. I told here there are two hands for a clock. The one is the short hand. The other one is the long hand. So looking at this clock, can you tell the time? The time is 5 o'clock. So how will you write here like this? 5 o'clock. And it can also be written like this way. Write 5, put two dots and then 0. This is also read as 5 o'clock. Understood? So what is the use of clock? Clock is used to measure time. And there are two hands for a clock. The one is the short hand, the other one is the long hand. Short hand is called the hour hand and the long hand is called the minute hand. And these type of questions will be there. Here the time will, here the two hands will be there and you have to write the time. Here the time will be given, you have to draw the hands. Understood? So that's all for today's class. See you in the next class. Thank you.